so much this year about God's faithfulness. And when I choose to trust Him, there is such peace and there is such comfort that comes my way. And truly, that peace that does pass all understanding will keep our hearts and our minds set in Christ Jesus as we trust the Lord with our whole heart. Now, my parents and John's, 
my husband's parents, they are typical grandparents. And they just love to brag about Anna, and they carry around all those little tiny snapshots. You know what I'm talking about, you know. And John and I just decided that, you know, as parents, we were just not going to put people through that, all those little tiny snapshots. Because, you know, some, sometimes that can just really em embarrass people, you know, a little bit. And, and it can kind of make people just, just a little bit... Un un hang on just a second. I ask you, is this not better than a snapshot? <laughs> well, I tell you, Anna has brought an awful lot of joy into our life, and, and I'm sure a lot of you already know this, and John and I are beginning to find out that it is a very big responsibility being a parent. But our prayer for our little angel is that she will grow up to be the kind of young lady that God would be very proud of and that John and I as parents can teach her the ways of the Lord. I watch beside your cradle Your face touched by the moon My heart just aches and trembles with all my love for you Your eyes shine like your father's And that nose looks just like me I stare in awe and wonder at such a mystery How God can touch the love of to the breath of life just look at this light our eyes are filled with dreaming we want so much for you but we might fail you often before your life is through Only your heavenly Father Can hear your every prayer When we are just a memory Your Lord will still be there So on our knees we pray The Lord will keep you strong. We want you to understand. You rest in His loving hands. For you are Jesus, little <laughs> you know, I think if I sing the chorus through to this song one time, you're going to catch on to it, and I want you to help me sing it. It goes like this. What a wonderful, 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 wonderful Lord we have. His love overflowing keeps growing and growing in me. What a wonderful Lord. Try it with me. What a wonderful, 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 wonderful Lord we have. With love so amazing, I'm praising. All the things. 
things that he's done for me My heart is filled with overwhelming thankfulness indeed The blessings he bestows upon my life and my home Oh, I've got to say it loud and clear I know Sing it again. What a wonderful, 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 wonderful Lord we have with love so amazing. I'm praising and praising my King. Happy is the man whose God is the Lord. He will sustain him. It is always very special when I get a chance to share about the Lord through music. Music is something that I love very, very much. And I know that there are many, many choir directors in the audience tonight because of the, the music seminar that you are having this week. And uh, I, my dad was a minister of music all of my life. And I can remember he would spend hours and hours and hours putting up sets and risers and painting backdrops and everything for the for the choir musical and people didn't really realize that that people actually had to paint the sets and put up the risers and build the backdrops and things they just thought they appeared you know what i'm talking about some of you i have a feeling and after you know you do your musical and and everybody says oh that was just gorgeous thank you so very much they sort of stop to re they sort of stop and don't think that somebody's got to take down the backdrop Somebody's got to take down the risers. And, and you know, when, whenever we share in concert, and I'm sure a lot of you ministers of music feel the same way, I want there to be much more that happens than just a, a couple of hours of a good time together. I want there to be some eternal things that happen. Because God is concerned about the eternity of this very moment. And when I don't get across something eternal, I feel like I've kind of missed the boat. I remember one night in particular we were... We were sharing somewhere in a concert, and it was just one of those days. Have you ever had just one of those days where it seems like everything has gone wrong? Finally, at the end of the day, we, uh, we were ready to get back on the bus. The concert was over, and it just was one of those times. It didn't really go well, we thought. And uh, I thought I might just, just wait out on the bus for the guys to pack up the equipment. And, and uh, I... Uh, started to make my way out to the bus and kind of had to cross the stage to get out to the bus. Well, I got out on the stage and everything had been taken down already and there wasn't anybody in the audience and the whole place was totally dark except for one little work light right in the middle of the stage. And something over at the corner of the stage caught my attention. I couldn't really see it all that well because it was so dark, but it looked like a piece of paper. I thought, well, maybe one of the guys left their lighting cues or something and so I went over there to take a look at it. And I came back and sat down by the work light to read it, and in big, bold letters right across the top, it said, this is a review of the Sandy Patty concert. Now I thought, why tonight of all nights? Goes from bad to worse, it seems like. But I thought, I'll be brave, I'll read it. So I, I started reading it and uh, found out it was written by a little girl who was in the sixth grade for her Sunday school class. And she started it out this way. She said, I used to want to be like Sandy Patty. <laughs> I thought, this day is never going to end. So I kept reading. 
And she said, I learned something tonight. She said, I learned that God doesn't want me to be anybody else but the very special person that he made me to be. Now, can I tell you something? That is eternal. And whether we are 60 years old, amen. Whether we are 60 years old or in sixth grade, we can never forget that we are special in the eyes of God. And that little girl reminded me. And in the quietness of that moment, the Lord and I had such a beautiful time of sharing together. And this song came out of that particular experience. And it is always a reminder to me, and I hope to some of you, you know, when it's all over and when it's all said and done, God wants to know, have you been my good and faithful servant? The stage is bare. The crowds are gone. The love we share still lingers on. We sang and played. And we laugh and cry. And in our fumbling way, we try to say what only hearts can know. And all to
I have to say I need you, Lord, in my life every single day. And I, it is so vital for me to study God's Word daily. That is what makes me a disciple of Him, and that is what is the desire of my heart, to be His disciple. And as I find those truths that God has just for me in His Word, I begin building my life upon those truths, and I am placing my life on the very solid foundation of the Word of God. There is nothing stronger. And Jesus says, upon my words, upon that solid foundation, he says, upon this rock, I will build a kingdom that will last forever and forever. You and I are part of that kingdom. But there are some things that Jesus calls us to do now to begin building his kingdom here on earth. When others see with earthly eyes just what they want to see, you will see the things that never you will know and recognize by simple childlike faith the priceless truth that others will deny. And Jesus says this to us. When others say I'm just a man who like to dream his dreams and when others call a miracle a myth you listen for eternity in moments as they pass and you see with spirit eyes what others miss upon this rock
and I, we are part of that kingdom. And it's not just something that's out there somewhere. Jesus says the kingdom of God is within you. It begins right now. Oh, I tell you, that is so exciting. It's a joy to be a part of the family of God and to be his children. But you know what? There is, there is nothing like little children. Jesus says for all of us to become like little children. And I see a bunch of good-looking little kids out there. And I was wondering, could you all just come up here and help me on this next song? Let's see, let's say 12 years old on down. I want you to just hurry up here as fast as you can, will you? There's going to be some people help you get up. You just come on up, all right? Oh my goodness, there's a lot of you. All right, 49ers, huh? <laughs> Let's have some of the shorter ones in the front, okay? And the taller ones in the back, and we can just make a few rows back that way, okay? So the shorter ones stay towards the front. Come on over here. Come on over here. We can make a few rows back, okay? Because we need to make a few rows deep, all right? So some of you taller ones, you stick there in the back. Hi. You just want to stand right here? How about that? Perfect. It's a good spot for you. To, well, we're waiting for the rest of them because there's a lot of them coming. Why don't you all just wave at your moms and dads? I'm sure you'd like to do that. You just go right ahead. Did they wave back to you? No? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to need you all to help me with some actions on this song. And we're, we're going to do some real, real easy things. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can help us from right down there. Here, there, there's some more kids coming up, and you all can move down because there's room over here. Oh, there's a bunch of them over there. All right. Well, just come on up as quick as you can. Let's scoot in this way, okay? You all scoot in towards the middle, and you scoot in this way towards the middle, okay? Come on, scrunch in. Is that really a word, scrunch? No, probably not, huh? Scrunching. Okay, scrunching is a word. Okay, now I need you all to help me with some actions on this song. What we're going to do is very, very easy. Now, but we all have to start in the same direction. So does everybody know which way is right? Let me see your right hands. Okay, pretty close. Pretty close. Oh, you can put them down. We're going to start that way. Now I want you to do this with me. We're just going to sway back and forth, right, left, right, left. Let's try it. Here we go. Right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, and stop. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's all there is to that part. We'll just sway back and forth. Then I want you to bow your head. Everybody bow your head. Bow your head. No peaky. <laughs> then I'm going to tell you to lift up your head, so lift up your head. Then I'm going to tell you to lift up your hands, so lift up your hands. Come on, everybody, lift up your hands as high as you can reach. Got your hands up? Then I'm going to tell you to stand like a soldier and you bring your hands down really fast. Okay, and stand at attention. Let's practice it. Put your hands up. Like a soldier. Okay, pretty good. Now just do that real <laughs> Just do that real fast, okay? Everybody got it? You can put your hands down. All right. Now everybody, you all look this way and you all look this way. Let's have our own little choir practice here, all right? I need everybody's attention right up here. How many of you know the song, Praise Him, Praise Him, All You Little Children? Does everybody know that song? You all know it? Well, I want you to sing, Praise Him, Praise Him, All You Little Children. And then I tell you what, the music is going to come in and then that's the song that we'll do the actions on. And I'll just tell you, when the time comes to sway to the right and left and all that, and bow your head so you don't have to worry about anything. But I want you to start us off good, all right? And I want you to start it off by singing, Praise Him, Praise Him, All You Little Children. And then the music's going to come in and we are off. Everybody ready? Okay, here we go. Praise Him, Praise Him, All You Little Children. God is love, God is love. Praise Him, praise Him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. All right, give them a nice hand. Okay, here comes the music now, and everybody get ready. Now, you ready? <laughs> Listen to the purest praises as you hear the little children sing. Here we are, children of all ages. Join our voices as we praise the King. Song of glory, song. 
song of celebration, singing gladly, Jesus we adore, celebrating as a family, all God's children sing unto the Lord. To the right, sing, all of you children sing, young and old in one accord, sing, all of you children sing, a new song before Him, adore Him, stop, let all the nations praise Him, kneeling before the Lord. joy and wonder from above we are children in god's eyes singing praises echoing god's love song of glory song of celebration singing gladly jesus we adore celebrating as a family all god's children sing unto the lord to the right sing all of each children Start lifting up your head and the Lord, now your hands, is glorified. Like a soldier. All right, very good. I like that. Let all the people praise Him, kneeling before the Lord most high. Everybody sway to the right. Sing, all of you children sing, young and old in one accord. Sing, all of you children sing. Come to the place where the holy child is laid. Oh, come, let us see the newborn King. For he is our God and greatly to be praised. Come, let us worship the King. Come, let us worship the King. Jesus, the Savior, is born. ring out with angelic praise. The heavens rejoice, for the earth receives her King. Come, let us worship the King. Let us worship, worship the King. Come, let us worship the King. Jesus the Savior.
is real power in Jesus Christ. And you know, sometimes the world comes along and says that we are defeated. But through the power of Jesus Christ, we can do anything. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. Looking up from the bottom, it seems like a long way to go. The mountain's dark and steep, the climbing is oh so slow. Your body aches, you're out of breath, you're ready to give in. But don't give up, you've got the strength to make it to the end. You can pour on the power. Till you pour the power. Now you don't have to be weary if power is moving in you. And if you'll just draw upon it, your strength's gonna be renewed. Oh, there's no need to turn around. There's no need to stop. Stand up. Stand up straight and look ahead and march on to the top. You can pour on the power. Some help to carry the load Just call upon the master And you will receive Courage and strength that you need To believe That you can pour out the power And you can pull that old mountain down You can pour out the power And claim that higher ground And now you may think that you're in a wall But it's just the dawn in Jesus Christ and that only comes from one source and that he has the power over death he proved that because of the, his resurrection and that is why we are alive because he gave his life for my life and for your life that we can live with him in eternity you know at the end of this month along with the Gaither trio and Larnell Harris we're going to Israel for about 10 days and we're going to be walking the places where Jesus walked and seeing the places where he taught and spoke but there's one place that I'm very anxious to see and all it is really is a simple road it's the road in Jerusalem that goes from from Jerusalem up to Calvary and it's that road that Christ walked after he had been sentenced to be crucified it's called the way of sorrow or the way of suffering in Spanish the name of that road is the Via Dolorosa and I want you to do something with me I want you to just let your mind wander and I want to take you on a journey down the Via Dolorosa. I wonder what was going through the mind of Jesus as he knew that his final hours on earth were coming to an end. And yet he never questioned the reason that he was walking down that road was because he loved me and because he loved you. Down the Via Dolorosa 
in Jerusalem that day. The soldiers tried to clear that narrow street. But the crowd pressed in to see the man condemned to die on Calvary. He was bleeding from a beating. There were stripes upon his back. And he wore a crown of thorns upon his head. And he bore with every step the scorn of those who cried out for his death. Down the Via Dolorosa called the way of suffering. Like a lamb came the Messiah, Christ the King. But he chose to walk that road out of his love for you. Down the Via Dolorosa, all the way to Calvary. Por la Via Dolorosa, triste día en Jerusalén. Los soldados le abrían paso a Jesús. Mas la gente se acercaba para ver a que llevaba aquella cruz. Por la vía de la rosa, que es la vía del dolor. Como ve, ha vino Cristo, Rey Señor. Y fue Él quien quiso ir por su amor. Y por mí, por la vía dolorosa, al Calvario y a morir. The blood would cleanse the souls of all men, made its way to the heart of Jerusalem. Down the Via Dolorosa, all the way to Calvary. And we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being changed into His likeness from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Dear friends, we are God's children now, and it does not yet appear what we will be. But we know that when He will appear, we will be like Him, for we will see Him. It's as though 
We see through clouded glass Our eyes cannot see past This veil of tears Our present pain This world can never comprehend A love that will not end The life that always will remain For there beyond the edge of time Is wisdom so divine The throne of truth The shining way her music and her life and will give you this beautiful book of words. Oh, Was it a morning like this? Order now and you'll also receive a second album, Sandy Patty's newest gold record, Morning Like This. This is the story of Sandy Patty. You get 32 great songs on two records or two cassettes. You'll also receive absolutely free Sandy Patty's Book of Words, containing her life story and the lyrics to 35 of her songs. All three are yours, a $30 value for only $19.95. Don't miss out on this fabulous collection of 32 songs and your free Book of Words by Sandy Patty, world-famous gospel singer. Have your credit card ready and call 1-800-225-1881 or send $19.95 plus $3 shipping to... Sandy Patty, P.O. Box 2727, Chesapeake, Virginia. That's 1-800-225-1881. Order now. Gospel Music Association Dove Awards.
three, four. When we sing, we sing real fine. But when we speak, it's line by line. <laughs> Cynthia Clausen. Amy Grant. Walla Paris. Sandy Patty. Denise Williams. There's one more thing to say to you. The Dove Award is going to... We can read through this envelope. Rip. Oh, yeah, we just got the rip. Oh, rip? Okay. You ready? Sandy Patty. <laughs> Thank you all so very much for the love and the support that I do feel <laughs> from you. <laughs> and the little girl going crazy down here is my daughter. <laughs> Thank you for the Helvering Agency and their terrific support. I could not do what I do without them and my husband John and my daughter Anna. I'm often asked who is the most influential people in my life and I have to say without a doubt my mother and my father because they have taught me that music is nothing without the message. Thank you very much. Talented lady, she's a talented yes. lady. I am so excited and honored to be a part of this evening, and it's a special honor for me to be here with you and Russ early. Well, thanks, John. Well, it's a real honor for me to be here with you and Russ, too. Oh, Thank bless you. If you guys are through honoring each other, we could go ahead and honor another Dove winner here. <laughs> well, I don't see why not. The nominees for Inspirational Album of the Year are for God and God Alone, Steve Green, Grave Nelson, producer, Spell Records. From a servant's heart, Larnell Harris, Greg Nelson, producer, Benson Records. Morning Like This, Sandy Patty, Greg Nelson, Sandy Patty, Hellbring Producers, Word Records. Seasons, Steve and Annie Chapman, Fletch Wiley, producer, Star Song Records. Undivided, first call, Dan Keen, Keith Thomas, Greg Nelson, Dick Tunney, producers, Day Spring Records. And the inspirational album of the year is, you want to do this real quick? Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> Morning Like This, yeah. Sandy Patty, Greg Nelson, Sandy Patty, Very quickly, I'd like to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for his continuing mercy to me. His mercy is new every day. And uh, to Lorenz Creative Service, who really do care about me. And to Sandy Patty, uh, who is the reason that I happen to be standing here right now. Thank you. I want to thank my friend and producer, and he is in that order, Greg Nelson. What a terrific guy to work with. I, wanted, I do want to thank my Word family. It is just wonderful to be a part of this special family, and to Dan Johnson and Roland and Neil Joseph. What great people to work with. Thank you all so very much. Later in the show, we're gonna find out the winner of the Song of the Year category. One of the real highlights always of this awards program is to hear the top ten songs sung and sung by our singers, Carol. Yes. Well, earlier you heard five of them, and now it's time for the other five. Sandy Patty is going to perform Was It a Morning Like This, Love in Any Language, In the Name of the Lord, and Let There Be Praise. And then Larnell Harris will join Patty to perform their hit duet, I've Just Seen Jesus. Was 
in a morning like this When the sun is still here from Jerusalem And Mary rose from her bed To tend the Lord she thought was dead Was it a morning like this?
that did me in. That was absolutely magnificent. Well, since the next... The Oak Ridge Boys are very proud indeed of our gospel music heritage and the roots that we all claim here tonight. Tonight we have the very distinct pleasure of introducing to you the Artist of the Year. And Richard, I'm going to turn it over to you because we can hardly wait to see who's going to be the winner. Okay, why don't we read the uh, nominees uh, right now? What do you say, Dwayne? Okay, the first nominee is Amy Grant. All right. Yeah. Okay, Richard. Lionel Harris. All right, Lionel. Yeah. Dwayne. And Petra. Yeah. Sandy Patty. And Steve Green. All right. Yeah. Oh. Here's the envelope. And the winner is. No, they're not even together. Sandy Patty. All right. Thank you so very much. I want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for his faithfulness in our lives daily. I do want to say to Amy and to Steve and to Petra and to Larnell, you are all such wonderful communicators. I am honored to be in your company. I feel sometimes like a quarterback who gets a lot of the attention but is smart enough to know that without the great team, none of it would be possible. And I do want to thank my dear and wonderful husband, John, the great people at the Helvering Agency. First Call, who has made this year so wonderful, and to Dick Tunney, and to the promoters, um, Springhouse, and to Terry Garland, who have really made this year so very, very special. Thank you for letting me kind of be the quarterback of such a great team. Thank you very much. American Airlines, the airline choice of the double. Good night, everybody. Good night. Some great morning when the slap is on, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shores. Of this life hath flown, I'll fly away. Like a bird from every bars have flown, I'll fly away. Let's think this. I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, bye bye, I'll fly away. Just 